guys, you're back here with Barry, and uh, here we are, day 72 of the lockdown, but I do understand some of the states are beginning to loosen up, and it looks like things will be opening up in some states. It seems to be, uh, again, like I said last video, it really does seem to be the states that vote Democrat that uh, seem to want to keep this. It's it's fairly evident if you look at the facts. and. Uh, again, that's coming from someone who's Canadian, so don't have a horse in that race, don't really want one either. And day 66 in the DR. I understand also, for anybody watching us from the DR, uh, day 66, I do understand that uh, by the beginning of June, they're going to relax a lot of things and reopen a lot of things. In the background, you might hear a speaker truck going by. That's from the farm. They got vegetables. They're screaming out, uh, batata, saboya. So they're selling vegetables. That's real common where we live. Anyway, um, I wanted to bring up something here. Leanne's going to link all of these to the uh, descriptions below. But have a look here. Uh, in... 2019 they have 14 recommended vaccines okay now that that should be that should be a red light right there a red flag but obviously to the higher percentages it's not if you go back and if you look at what was recommended is um back to um here i won't even go very far 85 the, here, the late 70s that was seven vaccines I took it further in 1960 I found it was four so if you take a look at the percentages of respiratory issues uh, people on medications autism asthma on and on and on you begin to see a very disturbing cycle that the percentages for all these terrible diseases plus an insurmountable amount more were way less before all these vaccine programs began. Uh, uh, it, it's, you know, if you look at what happened a half a decade later, a decade, decade and a half, two, two and a half, three, you're going to find that the more people that are on vaccine programs, the higher all these diseases are going. It's doing the opposite of what it should be. I know many of my subscribers know this already, but try to look at it from that point of maybe some of the videos aren't getting through to people you love and people you want to try and help. Um, moving on, again, these will all be attached, but I want to take a look here. This is absolutely because of what do we do with our newborns? I'll keep the cursor out in the margin so you'll see. First thing we do with our newborns is we start injecting them, injecting them with all these vaccines uh, shortly after birth. Actually, I've done the research. It more than triple exceeds the dose for a normal, healthy, 200 pound plus male. And more than triples the dose is what you're putting within the first few months into your newborn. And you want to know why your newborn is not acting like they should, or has trouble learning, or has autism? Asthma? I mean, my goodness. Diabetes in teenagers now, and you tell me these programs are helping? Ask yourself probably the most prevalent question you ever will in regards to this subject. Ask yourself, what benefit is it to get you better in a system where the profit is made by you being ill? And if you're being open-minded, and if you're capable of that much thought, you're going to realize there is no benefit. There's a benefit of keeping you in the system. That's where the benefit is. That's why there's the big pharma medicines that everybody's on. At least the, by far the people we meet coming from Canada and America, far more prevalent than people from Europe. I, I, I don't want to debate that because, uh, you know, we meet a lot of them from Europe. I know, I know what we're talking about when it comes to that. Um, I bring to you here, and 
where my cursor is in the margin, okay, zero to four years, highly because, largely because of all these vaccines you're shooting in the newborns, a 160% increase. 1980 to 1994. Enough said. Carrying on now a bit uh, again, still in asthma rather, around 300 million people have asthma worldwide. And look at this. It is likely that in five years from now, 2025, a further 100 million will have. What are Excuse me, people. What are what's one of the biggest side effects from vaccine? Upper respiratory issues. We're not putting anything together here. You cannot have these percentages. Again, before vaccines, after vaccines. This I, I wish you know. It's, we're getting on the last ditch efforts to try and wake up a few people, predominantly people you know. Uh, we've long moved ahead of this. And again, once things open up, we're rapidly going forward, but the information is worth reading. Uh, well, Barry's a reader, and I've, I've been a reader for many, many decades. And what I'm coming up with over that time span, it's just so beyond. I, I've long passed it. We're, we're bringing it forward to try and help the good folks out there that have people you care about that maybe one piece we tweak, something a little bit different, just might hit home, okay? And that's the reason why I'm, we're spending our time doing this. We go now into autism. This one is so sad. Look, uh, again, read it on your own time, but the rate is 1 in 38 young boys, one in 38 young boys in the U.S. I, I can't, uh, I can't, young boys in the U.S. Uh, the females, the girls are uh, off on that uh, a fair bit. Uh, still a ridiculous amount, one in 152 girls. Now, I want to bring this back to how this Fear porn is keeping you, you know, you, the loved ones you're trying to wake up lost in fear. It's difficult. It's a difficult problem, and I know it's a heart-tugging problem. But um, if you take that statistic in young boys of uh, age, but, you know, I believe it was uh, 14, but let's say whatever 14. I think here it was a little bit less than that. But if you go back into 1960 and you take that same statistic, it's ridiculous. It was one in every 2,500 boys, or 0.04%. Currently, one in 38. One in every 2,500 before vaccines were becoming a regular thing to do. Now that they are and they're ever increasing, one in 38. I do not know anything else that could wake up the sleeping better than a statistic like that. Another excellent post from Martin Armstrong. Um, and we're very fortunate too that we have, uh, long before we started doing this, a, a fair amount of people from Europe because we, of the business we do in the Dominican Republic when we're not locked down. So I've always had a lot of boots on the ground in Asia. There's a lot of Asian people are looking at reallocating their money out of Asia into something that it's safe and they can reallocate later on into a different form of currency. Much the same as the Vancouver real estate uh, deal, you know, in Toronto. If you take a look at the percentages, uh, most of it was out of country, a lot from Asia. And it's just a, it's a very effective way of uh, getting out of your own currency into a currency that you would wish to be in which is the reason why the dollar for short term now is still print all you want. The world wants them, they'll absorb them. It's when they come home to roost and there's no nest. That's when the crap hits the fan. But anyway, it's reconfirming, the, the, uh, the blog will be uh, posted in there. It's reconfirming as countries like uh, North Korea and 
uh, Vietnam, uh, parts of China, uh, go back to it. There is a definite increase, but it's no, uh, not a surge like they had wished for, like we've been saying is going to happen. There's no V surge here. Nothing's going to the moon. Uh, but primarily, the business owners are, are, are by interviewing and talking and by people like us having people on the ground. It has nothing to do with the fear of the virus. It has to do with the damage that done to the economy. So I'll let you read an excellent short little post. I want to open up also a couple of uh, pictures here. Everybody who's kind of aware of what's going on, it's not simply because of the virus issue right now and the COVID-19, but for decades, uh, mainstreams have been for, you know, forwarding false information, of course. If you're bought and paid for, you're bought and paid for to your owner. Uh, this is just another good one that came in from um, a subscriber uh, poll out in uh, Canada, and it was a good one. But this was the exact, uh, here, the airport picture they were using for all the deaths in the, of the COVID in Italy. And um, many of you following it know Italy was one of the highest ranked areas, and they blew that all out of proportion. Of course, we've since rebuttaled that to 125 percent in our favor about the people being the average age over 80 and blah 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 and you know pre-existing conditions i'm not going in there but it is nice here here 2020 there's the airport same picture 2013 folks originally this picture that fooled a lot of people and got a lot of people scared this picture was from back in 2013 from a ship Wreck. It had nothing to do with COVID. Uh, all you have to do is just look at it. You can see it's Photoshopped to give it a better quality, but you can clearly see trash on the floor. You can clearly see it's the same picture, okay? All the way down to the reflections on the caskets, which aren't even highlighted. Okay, so don't let that fool you. Another thing I wanted to show you before calling it a, a day on this video, uh, we'll get back to more videos of different doctors. We've located another one that's coming in that is exceptionally well uh, well spoken as well. But take a look at this, the COVID-19 uh, survival uh, rates. And take a look here of the survival rates of my own country, Canada. 99.985 survival rate. Okay. USA 99.973, Dominican Republic, where you're currently listening to this from, 99.996. Let's jump to Italy, 99.947 survival rates and due to population versus people that have perished from COVID-19. If anybody could justify in their wildest dreams how this lockdown has been justified, <sighs> Why aren't these people and politicians that have blindly supported it without doing their own research? To me, they're all bought and paid for as well. You can't tell me they don't know the real facts. Not in those positions. If people aren't going to jail for this, if we're not banding together stronger and stronger with a lot more than just forwarding information and getting prepared for what's right around the corner, I don't know. Anyway, um, ignorance hurts others, but it can also hurt yourself. Keep that in mind as we go forward. It's Barry NDR. There's vital information here to pass on. I'll be making more recordings as my time allows. In the meantime, as always, thank you for getting them out, especially trying to help the people you love. Uh, I don't know what more you can do at this point. As this opens up, though, we'll be shifting and moving on. But until people, for the most part, think about the intersection, okay? You should have already been prepared with certain supplies, groceries. You don't need me to tell you that at this late stage. But for a lot of you, depending on whether your job is there when this opens up or not, I'm telling you, it's going to be a 30 to 40 percent people watching this, depending on that, I'm sorry for the statistic, but it's going to be accurate because you're at a 35% negative 35% the second quarter GDP. So 
So a lot of these businesses, you take a look at his filing, Chapter 11 in the last few days from, you know, J.C. Penney's all the way up, some of the biggest companies. Well, a lot of employees are, in, I'm sorry, but that that's it. And we, and, and we did it to ourselves, especially those people that are still supporting lockdown. But until we reach that and ending this video, until we reach that intersection, there's no other plan. There's no... Like I say, you should have been prepared with your supplies already. Now to figure out what do I do, you don't know till if you're even got a job to go back to. So until we reach that point, we're going to stay with this kind of information. And when it's beyond a shadow of a doubt that everybody recognizes, even the ones now approving this lockdown at this ridiculous late stage, Soon enough, when even they find out they've been hoodwinked, it's not going to be a pretty sight, okay? People need to be prosecuted. Till next time, it's Barry and DR, and we do appreciate you doing your part in spreading this out.